In March 2011, Amy and Catlin joined the Pine Hill team and this trailblazer has been making his mark ever since. Um, I did not expect to be named Employee of the Year for Pine Hill. Um, I've only been here a little over two years, so I mean, it was shocking and I was very, very pleased. Amy is an easygoing person. He's easy to get along with and he works a lot as others. Strict with the work, but fun working with. He's down to earth. Very witty, always pro probably will be one to just hear like jokes. I, I think it's just the way that he gets things done. He's very, very effective and influential. I mean, the way he gets along with all of the staff, everyone in the plant, in a very difficult role, which is health and safety officer. He's had tremendous results and it's, it's just amazing to watch. His task is to implement the health and safety management systems, environmental and energy. And to implement those systems is not an easy task because you're asking persons to change the way they do things and you're taking them out of their comfort zone. You care about the employees that you don't want to get injured, like you don't want to get blind, you don't want to injure yourself. You don't like, you do not like accident reports at all. I don't know why. He, he like cut free everything. He introduced the uh, permit for work system, which allows the engineers mostly to um, sign the permits, which allows them to work at height and give them the general safety aspects of the job. Before, we got PP, or PP not, it's still working. And nobody ain't gonna tell you where you got it on, the desk pass. But no, if you got pass and you don't have it on, you may just start immediately. I try to make people understand why it is that I'm asking you to do that. So I might say, okay, you need you to wear earmuffs. And then what I'll do, I'll try to link it to something we all know. We all have a family member or a friend that doesn't hear very well. He worked for long years in a setting and he's the person you call his name and he, ah, uh -huh. and then someone says, well, you got to talk up to that fellow. You know, so I try to get across, you don't want to be that person. So then, you know, they, they, they make it personal to everyone. They find a way to that they can relate to. When I saw the figures, how our accident rate dropped from 10.8 in January to 2.4 in December, that was it, that sealed the deal. For sure, without Damien being here, we would, we would have a lot of problems in terms of the awareness of the guys when it comes to health and safety. But the thing that stands out most of all was the day when he became a father. It was January, January 19th, I think. And I saw this man, I saw the bikes under his eyes. Damien was at the hospital with his girlfriend and there was an accident, an accident occurred here at the plant. Someone got injured? Well, his girlfriend was in labor. The supervisor here called to get some sort, some guidance as to what procedure to take, how to deal with this accident. I could tell he was sleeping for probably about 30 minutes and playing night at the hospital, but... Damien was able to guide the supervisor through the process from beginning to end, even though he was under immense pressure. And Damien was here, on the spot, assessing the situation, making sure everything was okay, before then going back to the hospital. If you're an ambassador for a company, you need to come over assertively that you know exactly what you're talking about. And Damien shows that effortlessly. I, I would imagine everyone wants to, you just have to look at it within yourself and say, I, I am not satisfied with mediocrity. Every re report sent to him, no, it get even no. It get even tomorrow, next week, it get even no. Even though he's health and safety officer, he can speak to what goes on in the house. He can speak to what goes on in acid care, what goes on in production. Anybody could just go and work with him regardless of their personality. He, he would tend to adjust to you more so than you having to adjust to him. I want to go Kathleen, make sure job happen. Um, I just want to thank the Playhill staff for, um, for nominating me for one. That, that was surprising and I'll do my best to admit that their faith was well placed. You had our back, you took care of us, and now we're going to take care of you. Win, lose, or draw, you are the unofficial VHL Employee of the Year and something big has happened at Playhill Dairy. Catelyn, I hope you win. Ladies and gentlemen, Damien Catlin, the Employee of the Year at the Pine Hill Dairy.